news and the end of a nearly seven hour standoff near a golf course in Dallas, and it all came to a dramatic end in the past hour. Thank you for joining us. I'm Cynthia Segueda and I'm Chris Lawrence. Dozens of officers and multiple SWAT vehicles were deployed trying to get the suspect to surrender. William Joy is live near Jim Miller and uh, Bruton Road. We understand this all started over some stolen license plates. Hey, Chris, Cynthia, the good news is fortunately after nearly seven hours, as you mentioned, nobody was hurt through this whole process. But yes, as you just mentioned there, it started all over stolen license plates and we can show you how it ended, which was about 45 minutes ago when we heard a loud bang and then saw a lot of smoke and then saw the suspect walk out of this drainage ditch where he had been for that several hour long standoff. He obviously looked disoriented, but police say he wasn't hurt. We then saw him walking with officers, get into an ambulance, but in the hours leading up to this, there were many tense moments. I want you to take a listen to some of the pops and bangs that we heard during one of them. And we've been about 100 yards away from where this SWAT standoff was going on, right at the main entrance of Keaton Golf Course. It all started right around 10 a.m. when police noticed again a car with stolen plates about five miles from where we are now. When he was trying to get away, police say the suspect got into a crash at the corner of Bruton Road and Jim Miller Road, only half a mile away from where we are now. Investigators say at that point he ran through the woods and at some point fired shots. Now, police wouldn't confirm if he fired at officers or at golfers. We're told he was out on federal probation for an unlawful possession of a firearm. The course manager told me that suspects stole a golf cart of four older men on the fourth hole and that at some point fired shots in their direction before he ended up in this drainage. It's right off the main entrance. That manager told me there were about 30 golfers here when this all happened. It's definitely odd. Um, I'm just glad everybody's OK. From what I hear on the inside, everybody's doing OK. Everybody's in high spirits and they're just waiting for word on when they can leave. And the answer to that is just moments ago, we saw police escorting car after car out of this main entrance. And one thing I should mention is that at one point, we also saw a robot being used with this suspect. We're told the suspect actually fired at the robot, and then we saw it coming out of that drainage that's smoking. But again, the good news to this whole process, nobody was hurt. Live in Dallas, I'm William Joy.